anything small that tries to get in the way. Uh, but I think that there's just too much of an enfilade there. Hey, what's up, Scat Cat? Skittle do bop, shoo bop, and Mr. Sack is out of there. Thank you so much. I will sit atop my nuclear throne now. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Nuclear Red. Yes. I'm focusing really on spells tonight. I did a nuke the previous in honor of our uh, Mono Red Maestro Tanuki, but this is a little different. This is Rose Gold, man. Um... Oh, I'm already on the dex area. What am I doing? This is Rose Gold. This is treasure mana generation to try to hit the explosive singularity and absolutely launch the nukes. See, we have that sushi here. Um, we are trying to absolutely burn him up. So kind of a classic mono red build here. Um, really having a lot of success with that. I'm really enjoying it. Kind of janky, kind of spanky. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff all around. Um, but before we get into this, before I show you all the, all the treasure within, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will come and brutally maul you. Yes, the like and subscribe is a YouTube werewolf with a robot arm and a light cycle. He will chase you down for not liking and subscribing to this channel. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatbillandj for our live streaming goodness. Yes, we'd love to have you there. Well, you can see a bunch of awesome people in our villain community, including none other than Hazmat, who's hanging out here tonight. Thank you, Hazmat. Big shout out to Hazmat. You can check out our Discord community uh, for all the latest news and information. We have all the new Capenna spoilers there. I'd love to see you there. This deck and all the other ones that I built are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want to check out the Aether Hub links down below, uh, there they are for this build. And of course, the week of April is HelloFresh month. HelloFresh is sponsoring me this month. Uh, I'd love you to click on the pinned link in the comments down below uh, to get 16 free meals and three free surprises. Also, I will send you uh, pack codes for cards for Magic Arena if you sign up for HelloFresh. Get that awesome deal. It's probably $100 worth of savings exclusively through my link down there. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring us. Get some great meal boxes. They're delicious. Whatever you want. Um, and I'm eventually going to do a food deck in honor of them for helping me out. So thanks to HelloFresh for that one. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about Kumano Faces Kakazan. Uh, Kumano Faces Kakazan deals one damage to each opponent in each planeswalker they control. Um, that's the opener. That's a one blast opener right there. Four of these boys. Whenever you cast your next creature spell, that creature enters with a 1-1 one, one counter. Fantastic. I love that. And then, of course, you exile it, and it becomes a 2-2 two, two human shaman with haste. If a creature uh, dealt damage this way by a source you controlled would die, exile it instead. Um, really, really good, especially for things that are having recursion from the graveyard. They all get exiled for throwing out stuff. Uh, he helps charge up things that are coming in. Throws that damage down. Ultra useful right there. Play with fire. Uh, one red, two damage. Yeah, you know it. It's the better shock, basically. Uh, play with fire deals two damage to any target. If a player was dealt damage this way, scry one. Of course, I like anything and go face. If I can get your life down to the point where you're in striking range of my missiles, even if I can't hit you with the nuke, I'll use conventional explosives and missiles to blow you up. Uh, so play with fire is going to be one of them, and that scry can really come in handy. Magda, Brazen, Outlaw. Now, I'm very happy about using Magda in this deck. Uh, her dwarf ability doesn't come in handy, but her treasure generation and her sacrifice dragon, uh, treasure dragon ability comes in handy on this one. I don't get to use that often, but it will come in handy in this one. So other dwarves you control get plus one, whatever. Whenever a dwarf you control becomes tap, create a treasure. Now that's very nice for when she attacks, she gets that uh, treasure token generation. We are going to be generating treasure like crazy with this one. That's why I call it rose gold. Um... So, and then we can sacrifice five treasures, search your library for an artifact or dragon card, then put that card in the battlefield. Fantastic stuff. Really, really, really cool stuff, especially with the amount of treasure generation we're going to be running. 
Royal Eruption, another targeted destruction. It is not an instant, it is a sorcery. It's any target, which means it can go face on the other player. It can go to a Planeswalker, it can go to a creature. And of course, you can kick it for a lot more damage. Now, the kicker is pretty expensive for three more damage, but late in the game, it is a nice mana sink um, for all that extra treasure. So I'm not really worried about the cost of seven to get five damage. If that's gonna end the game, I mean, yeah, if I've got a ton of treasure on the board, I'm gonna spend it. Smoldering Egg, what are we gonna do when we're casting all of these spells, man? Well, let's crack this egg. Uh, Smoldering Egg is a great one. Got a real bad rap because it was running with the bad crowd. Namely, it was running with Alrun's Epiphany all the time and everybody hated it. But uh, it's not a bad card. It's a Dragon Egg, 0-4, 1 red and 1. Uh, it's a defender. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put an ember counter. And then if you have 7 or more ember counters, remove them and transform Smoldering Egg. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, Ashmouth that... Uh, uh, Ashmoth Dragon deals two damage to any target. So casting those instants and sorceries, throwing them out there, uh, is going to crack open that egg and give us an Ashmoth Dragon. Now remember, we can't actually grab this with Magda, but why would we? We'd want to grab one of the bigger ones. Sudden Breakthrough. Um, I really like this card, guys. Uh, I know people don't really like it that much, but that first strike has really won me a lot of battles. No one's really expecting a plus two in a first strike. Uh, that has really tipped the scales on a lot of stuff and a treasure token. I really like this with Magda. On the turn that Magda swing in, that's a four first strike. We can pretty much knock out anything. Uh, Kumano faces Kakazan to Magda. Now she's a three two, and then on turn three we hit a um, we hit a sun breakthrough. Now she's a five. Uh, she's a five two first strike and generating two treasure. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. We are really, really ramping hard and throwing out damage with that kind of combo early in the game. That's good stuff there. Really like that. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yes, Kiki Jiki himself. Create a 2 2 red goblin shaman token. Whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Yes. You may discard up to two cards. If you do, draw that many cards. We can throw away dupe cards. We don't need anything we don't want. Extra stuff. We can, we can toss that away. And then, of course, we exile it and create. Kiki Jiki. Um, create a token that's a copy of another, another target, non legendary creature, except with haste. Sacrifice in the beginning of your next end step. That could be really, really fantastic for um, creating a token copy of another dragon with aggro or anything like that. Now, probably my new favorite dragon here, Mr. Atsushi himself, Dragon Spirit Legendary. Um, two red and two, four, four. When Atsushi Blazing Sky dies, choose one. Exile the top two cards of your libraries until the end of your turn. You may play two of, uh, you may play those cards or create three treasure tokens. Fantastic stuff there. I love cards and creatures that punish the player, that punish our opponent for playing them. Um, that, for destroying them rather. Um, when they get a negative for trying to take this flying trample creature out, which is a very deadly threat, um, they get a negative, I get a ton of mana, or I get a bunch of options to cast spells. I like that, man. That is very, very useful for Atsushi. Uh, I really, really like him. He's a great grab for Magda as well, if we want to spend the treasure on that. Really, really cool stuff. Unexpected Windfall. Do we need four of these? I don't know. Maybe only three of them. Uh, one of the other ones that I had here was... Um, uh, one of the other cards that I had I was playing with, but it never really popped up too much, was the uh, Price of Loyalty. We can throw that in the sideboard if we want. So if you want to throw in some Price of Loyalties, those are kind of fun because gain control of target creature, untap that creature, gains haste. If mana from treasure was cast, it gets plus two. So you're basically bribing somebody with all this treasure you're creating. I like that, especially if they have a really, really big, that's good against like green or black where they have really deadly creatures. Um, so you can slide those in there, but Unexpected Windfall is very nice. He's pulling from the deck of many things there. Uh, as additional cost, discard a card, then you draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. Fantastic stuff there. It doesn't really matter if you want to discard a card. Um, sometimes, man, you just need to cycle through cards and get rid of stuff. Um, the other one that was a late add to this one was Burn Down the House. Um, I do like that sweeper, especially against some aggro white and some Selesnia. Uh, enchantment stuff we kind of do need to clear the board occasionally that does become useful and those devil creatures can be very very dare i say devilish uh when they when they get destroyed they do damage everywhere they have haste uh they're really a problem for people to deal with so burn down the house is another great option there 
Goldspan, the king of treasure himself. 4-4 four, four, flying haste, 2 red, and 3. Whenever it attacks or becomes the target of a spell, create a treasure token. Treasure treasure you control, uh, have sacrifices, artifact, have 2 mana of any one. So the great combo that I like to pull even on top of this is... Um, sudden breakthrough even if you want to put three sudden breakthrough on a gold span dragon you can attack and all of a sudden you get uh two mana from a treasure you can cast sudden breakthrough you get the mana back and you get the mana generation for targeting gold span with a spell so you're going to get two more mana and it becomes a four six first strike um which is really really useful so unbelievably deadly combos you can pull off with mono red and treasure here he will create so much treasure so much red so much power and utility um and what's the goal of all this treasure? What are we trying to get off? What are we trying to go crazy with? Um, the nuke. Explosive Singularity. 10 mana, 2 red, and 8. As additional cost of the spell, you may tap any number of target untapped creatures you control. Uh, this spell costs 1 less for each creature tapped this way. 10 damage to any target. That will end the game a lot of times. Yes, it will. Uh, and if it doesn't, it certainly will crack any eggs that are there. Um... Honestly, we can cast Explosive Singularity just with the amount of treasure we could potentially throw on, on the board with Goldspan Dragon. Like, five treasure with Goldspan will cast Explosive Singularity. That's how much treasure we can get. That's how much mana uh, thing. So even if we have five mana and three treasure, we have enough for Explosive. Really a great mana sink. If you want to put three of them in there instead of one less unexpected windfall, hey, I don't blame you. I didn't want to overload you with the Mythics. Uh, as far as mana goes, two Shatter Skull Smashings for options of destruction and mana generation, two Den of the Bugbears, eight Mountains, and one Sokazen Crucible of Defense. Do you want another one in there? Sure, you can throw another one in there. I'm not mad at you. Um, that's what we're looking at with Rose Gold here. Uh, price of loyalty in the sideboard. Here is what our layout looks like. Uh, standard, there is our Red Dragon Pet. Uh, all red, 13 creatures, mostly spells in this one. Uh, however, our enchantments, we have... I believe six enchantments that do generate creatures. So uh, a lot of dragons, a lot of treasure, uh, 10 instant, 10 sorcery, six sagas. Those sagas all generate creatures. So it's really more like 19 creatures. And of course, 21 lands altogether with the amount of treasure that we're generating. We really don't need that much, much land. Uh, we kind of get over, over treasured and over manned uh, too much with this one, believe it or not. Sideways view pretty standard ramp here we are living a lot at two right there that's how much treasure generation we have in the deck that's how much it pops up um uh one two three four and five and then of course explosive is way off on its own with an eight right there um but we really are living at two and remember this is a flexible mana position as well so it might say 21 it really is more like 23 mana with this in a flexible uh, kind of a pivot position um, and so much treasure generation so much card draw so much variety we're going to be able to get to what we need we did very well for ourselves tonight we're almost cracking that diamond uh, let's launch these nukes guys let's get in there and hit these nukes um, let's do it boys all right there we go leave a comment tell me what you think what do you like what do you don't like how would you change it let me know Let's try to go nuclear here. Has a job, not qualified for. You'd have no idea how to operate a robot welder. And you're operating a robot welder. Um, so you literally have no idea how to... I mean that that might become apparent really quickly by the way so that 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 might be a problem that fixes itself uh, yeah maverick smoldering egg Missed a drop. And he's done because he missed a drop. 
Yeah, you're either gonna make it or you're gonna not make it. Okay. All right, well, that worked. Guy missed a drum. Try gun. Let's actually try to get a game in. Rogue Maverick, how you doing, my dude? been better okay bro all right all right well i hope you're feeling all right ah junkai visionary okay yeah we're gonna have to explode him we're gonna have to explode him real good. Do 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 explode him real good. Do 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 There you go. Do 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 Alright, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. We're playing Alfredo sauce. Okay, just the concept of pasta. That's great. I may discard up to two cards. If I do draw that many cards, I'll, um, I'll draw another summon else instead of gold. Oh, and a sushi. That's cool. Let's hit a Kumano. Swing in. Let's swing for the memories. Also, Xyla, what are you doing in a robot factory? Uh, what are you doing in a robot welding factory? Were you a model or something? Were you like a were you like a fashion model at some point? The hell, how'd you end up in a in a in a running a robot in a car factory it seems like not really a lateral move uh, oh it failed two years ago good lord You're too short. <laughs> oh, so now you got clever on the Cybertruck thing now. 5'9", you have to be tall to be a model? I thought that was only women. Everyone has to be tall to be a model? Believe it or not, despite common, um, despite common mythology to the otherwise, uh, I think five seven is the average height of an American male. Um, I don't know why people all of a sudden think it's like every man needs to be six six. I don't know when that got started. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit odd to be honest. Um, 
I see these screenshots of these uh, of these Tinder girls. And they're like, "Sorry, you're you're a short king." And the dude's like, "I'm six one," and she's like, "Yeah, I'm six six or higher." And the dude's like, "What what is even going on? Where where am I? What's going on, man? What what is happening? I'm six <laughs> one." Um. I don't even think that it's not, not even about ripped, dude. I, I, it's so odd. Listen, I'm above average tall. I'm not six feet. I'm about five eleven. But, um, but uh, some of the some of the girls, man, they're real weird about height, man. It's really specific about it. He's got snowlands. He's got snowlands here, so let's push. I have a ton of mana, which is kind of the whole point, because I want to hit nuclear. Um, um, contact other plane, okay. The new mechs you can do. You can have get do a mecha lick lifter. Mecha lifter. You should use one of those. They're gonna be like, can you pilot this mecha lifter that from aliens? Remember that mecha lifter that fought the alien queen? That's the job. And you're gonna be like, sure, yeah, I can run that. Whatever it is, just say yes. That's how you find adventures in life. You know what I mean? Just say, yeah, sure, I can do that. With a straight face. And you'll find yourself in all kind of Fun and exciting situations. Full of incident. Ooh, look at that hook. Look at that hook, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, hopefully this is the nuke. I'd love to hit the nuke right here. It's not the nuke, sadly. Uh, let me discard two of those. Maybe I can draw the nuke. No, I didn't draw the nuke, unfortunately. Uh, Kumano faces Kakazan. I really want to get the nuke off, man. There we go. Hauling 80k down a mountain in Colorado snow. I never said it would be a good situation. I just said it would be an interesting situation. So I want I want to go on record saying that I never said it would be something good for you. I just said it would be exciting. As Terry Pratchett said, "You'll find your life or the remainder thereof full of exciting incident." Um, of course, in this instance. Sir Terry Pratchett was referring to being kicked to death by trolls. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever. Magdalena. My reflection wraps and pulls me under. No, that's Brenna. That's Tool Bathed in Brenna. Sorry. Wrong song, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody take it easy. It's the wrong song. Man, when the truck drivers all stopped all across the nation for that dude who got absolutely screwed over by the justice system, where they gave him a hundred and they gave him a hundred years for uh, for manslaughter, man, that was terrible. Man. 
utter disappointment. Utter and complete disappointment, man. Very sad to hear. I'm glad they amended his sentence. That was really good. I mean, it's a tragedy that happened, but I mean, it's... It's... It's, it's terrible. I mean, man, you're trying to drive a truck, but accidents happen, bro. Giving this dude a hundred years for an accident, I mean... Ugh. Anybody watch that? Anybody pay attention to that one? I watch a lot of Justice stuff because of my job. Any kind of stuff coming and joining a Justice apartment. Um, so a guy got in an accident. He was sleep deprived. And he was not i mean i don't think he was unfocused but he was got in an accident it was an accident it was an accident but two people died it was about a year ago maybe a year and a half ago and they gave him a hundred years in prison and truck drivers were like this is ridiculous dude like accidents happen we're very like there was really no wrongdoing per se there was no real like Oh, this guy was drunk, he was high, he was, you know, there was nothing, like, egregiously terrible that happened that would have been, like, oh my goodness. Yeah, the one in Colorado. Um, and they ended up giving him 110 years or something like that. Like, for a car accident, essentially. Um, so, it was really bad. And the truck drivers all around during the sentencing just pulled over to the side of the road and didn't and didn't drive. Um, and because uh, they're like, God, how are we supposed to do our job if we get in an accident, our brakes fail, our hydraulics go out, or something? You know, we get in a bad skid or something, we hit ice, and the truck flips over. I mean, we're doing everything that we can to haul this giant stuff around, man. When we get in an accident, and somebody gets hurt, man. Like, we're not trying. We're not out here trying to hurt people obviously um uh but damn um you know yeah they really they really nailed him to the wall and he really got he really got a, he, I think he really got shafted in a lot of ways luckily the governor gave him he he I think he commuted it down to 10 years which honestly is still too much but um I'm very sad that there was a loss of life obviously nobody wants that but uh damn bro like um his truck had faulty brakes he wished the runaway truck run off and the company worked for him so yeah I mean he, he's I, I think he's trying you know and and that's the problem he just kind of got um his company was a lot to blame but i mean they hammered him with a with a hundred years bro like you know um you know how long a hundred years is man like <laughs> good lord dude Hundred years, man. Hundred years. Oh, all right. Let's see here. Push, push. I mean, the company should have got hammered. That's really who needed to, who really needed to eat shit on that one. That's. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's kind of the point, is that, you know, my man was sent to 100 years, obviously he bears some responsibility, he was at the wheel, 
you know, maybe he wasn't trained enough, maybe he wasn't paying attention, he didn't do a safety check or something to that effect, but you got my man doing, t saying, bro, you're going to jail for a hundred years, dude. I mean, jeez. Sokuzan. All right, so we actually get to use the sacrifice five treasures for this one. Uh, da -da 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 -da. At sushi. Right, there we go. We want that delicious sushi there, man. Gotta have that sushi. Gotta have that sushi. Boof, boof, boof. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright. We gotta have that sushi, guys. At sushi, probably one of my favorite new red cards, honestly. Top two cards, you can play them, and three treasure tokens. 4-4 four, four flying trample for 2 red and 2 like uh, uh, come on man this dude's a this dude's absolute chat bro absolute freaking chat right here all right he's probably gonna hit a nuke right here he's either gonna he's either gonna fold or he's gonna hit a full-on nope that ain't it that ain't gonna help you homie um, black spider with menace There it is, guys. We finally get to hit the nuke. There. Oh, he wouldn't even let me get my nuke off, man. Oh, that's a shame. Couldn't even get the nuke off. No, this is not mono white. We abandoned the mono white. Um, this is nuclear red. Let me edit that. Mono white completely crapped out on us, unfortunately. Actually got the nuke off, Tanuki. Uh, this explosive singularity, but he... he um, May I see mono white deck list? You will in a little bit, my good, my dude. You will one day. The darkness. Red alert. I used to love man. I played so much red alert too, man. Oh my god. I bought that in the battle chest that had Command and Conquer 1 and Red Alert 1. No, wait. Red Alert and Command and Conquer and all the expansion packs and all that crap. Such good games. Um, let me put this down. Enter tapped. Suited Virtue. Okay, let's see if we can get the Magda out. I love Sudden Breakthrough, man. Sudden Breakthrough has absolutely can't. Sudden Breakthrough killed his Elder Dragon last game. So, uh, you know, absolutely Sudden Breakthrough. It is a, it is a, watch this. Watch, I'm going to show you about Sudden Breakthrough right now. Oh, that's another treasure generation. Four damage treasure generation. I can add sushi next turn. Boom. No problems there, man. Run amok doesn't make treasure. Hey, who gave me, um, by the way, who gave me a uh, nuclear throne, man? 
uh, nuclear fury, not nuclear throw, nuclear fury man. Ooh, okay, he wants to use that on that, sure. Kerbango, yeah. Kind of overkill, but sure, man. Go off. Was it you, Clever Sounds, that gave me nuclear uh, nuclear fury? What a good what a good track that is, man. Maybe some Stesnia Uprising. Eh, I don't know, man. I guess it wasn't you. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then it wasn't you. Explosive Singularity. There it is, guys. Um, so let's hit a blast face there. Mountain, sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, we could put it in there, but eh. 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 Intrepid adversary. Yeah, you don't get one of them. Sorry, buddy. You can't have that. I don't like those, so, you know. You know what else I don't like? Do you know what else I don't like? I don't like season Kathars too much either, my dude. Hey, that's awesome, bro. What did he hit it with? Clever sounds. If you don't know what I'm talking about, man, then you didn't do it. You didn't give me the track. Somebody gave me a music track in Discord. I thought it was you. Um, it was not. So, no worries, my guy. No worries. Weird combo he's pulling off. Season Kathar and this thing. Agro Blanco, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, I don't need treasure tokens. I need exile two cards at the next turn. Pull them. Of course, it's going to be more mana. There's Explosivo. Um, let's hit this. Very nice. Okay. Another ambitious farm man. What a weird deck this guy's running. I like it, man. I'm not I'm not even mad at him. I ain't even mad, bro. Bro, I ain't even mad. A lot of life gain. Life gain white and a weird kind of combo way. And I am just hitting every single, every last uh Every last mana that I have, I'm gonna pull right here. That's what that's what the shuffler said. The shuffler said, you're gonna get every mana in your deck. I don't care what happens. I don't care what is going on. It's gonna happen, dude. You're gonna get every mana in your deck. You don't have a choice on this. It's you you have to. Okay? You have to. You have to have every mana. I will not be satisfied until you have every mana in your deck. There you go. Seven. How many mana did I throw? I throw any mana? I think I threw one away. Seven. You know, it was about 50%. Not bad, though. Pretty happy with that. Um, he comboed out pretty good there. Not bad. Burn down the house wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. 
Ooh, look at that. Look at that. that is that um, is that Grand Cenobite? Burn down the house. It's always a good ad. Reckless Joy is a good is a good mana dump too. Um, the problem is is just drawing. Um, the main mana dump is the nuclear. Uh, what we have there. We also do have Price of Loyalty, but I might drop that for. Um, um, Oh, no, I'm not going to destroy the nuggets. Let's try... Um, maybe a little burn down the house. Huh. We do a little trolling. Let's try it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Did you see how many turns in a row I got a mana? I mean... And then I hit a fucking unexpected windfall and drew a mana and another card. So, I mean, you know... I'm even running card draw. People always go, Jay, just run more card draw. And then I'll be like, oh, look at this card. It lets me draw five cards in a row. And I'll draw five cards and I'll be mana. So it's like, at that point, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I go first. Hmm. I'm going to keep it. That's a terrible hand, but I'm going to keep it. Tibalt's Trickery, yeah. I mean, everyone's soured on Tibalt's Trickery once they figured out the, the two-turn win strategy, dude. That's the problem. Oh, mirror match. Goblin jamming here. Good, co good combo there, man. Good combo. You'll play it the day Jay makes a Civic deck, yeah. That's a long day coming. Oh, looks like we got some aggro gobos. Okay, so let's put that out. Let's hit Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Let's hit that guy. We don't want him to have that. He's missed a land drop so far. Let's swing in. Bubble. Alright. I'll take the two, no blocks. Oh, run amok. Very nice. You were just talking about run amok. Royal Explosion. May discard cards. I can draw that many cards. Decline. Um, let's do Royal Eruption. Okay. Run amok's a good card. I've run it several times. I'm not, I'm not a, it's not like I hate run amok. I just like, I'm trying to generate treasure and hit that. That sudden first strike is very dangerous. Um, for a lot of reasons. Alright, Hobgoblin Capto. Alright, Exile Saga Transformed. Why don't we try that? Um, let's do that. Jakey. Um, can we hit the nuke next turn? That's five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we can hit the nuke next turn. Ooh. Hmm. If we block with Kiki Jiki, might as well. Might as well not play stupid, man. Let's go do that. I got exiled. My turn. Smoldering egg. Um, so let's just do this. Let's 
drop smoldering egg off in the trash can right there. Draw two and make a thingy. Okay. Oh, a gold span. Okay, well, we can win then. We'll just do that. We'll just do the win instead. Yeah, that seems like it's a better idea. Yes. Kiki Jiki. Oh, it's so Kiki Jiki right here. We are getting kiki jiki up in this. We are getting kiki jiki up in this. Oh, look, he got a pair of goblos. Look at that. He's gonna block. The bango bongo. Poof. Okay, excellent. Thank you for following 80 Bill Burr. What is up, 80 Bill Burr? We can do three. Hulking bugbear. That's gonna be nine. That's that's six. That's still not enough. Good game. Kiki janky, more like it. Lol, 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 lol. Um, buff, buff, buff. All right, my turn. And he won't even let me fire the nuke, man. Um, allegory. How you doing, allegory? Red equals smork? I don't know what that means. What is up, 80 Bill Burr? How are you doing, my guy? Welcome to the show. Um, we are sitting atop a nuclear throne here. Um, gutty bands. How you doing, gutty bands? This kind of sounds like gummy bears. Yeah, Pranar. Oh, Fireblade Charger. I got one of those. All right, let's keep it going. We're almost here. We're almost there. Some Orc. Some Orc. Some Orc. I miss Orc decks, dude. Back in the day, you could run an Orc deck, man. Orcish Orflame. Yeah, we didn't even get to fire the nuke off, man. That's that's basically the only reason I'm running this deck is so I can fire the nuke. And they won't let me, man. They just won't let me hit the nuke off. Um... You know me from YouTube, or are you just coming to hang out for the first time? Um, all right, let's do that. Let's play with fire. Let's help with the bang out there. Unexpected windfall. I would take that, y'all. Kalein, don't like that. I'm gonna have to nuke Kalein. Then we can put Kiki Jiki out. Recommended streamers never disappoint. Well, um,. I'm glad they recommended. Welcome to the villains, my guy. I am Jay Villain, your host. We have a YouTube channel. I'd love you to click that link. We're the fastest growing Magic the Gathering YouTube channel on the internet. That is 100% true. Don't look it up. Because if you don't, just don't look it up, all right? It's, it's, it's just true. You just got to believe me. Um, uh, that's You got to take it on faith, man. That's That's a big part of what we do here. Ooh, they're swinging in. Uh, I'll go for that. He's probably going to ninja. Oh, he's not going to ninja. Okay. All right. Uh, he's not going to ninja. You may discard that many cards. I'm going to decline that Kumano. Um, let's do that. Let's three damage that. I don't want him three damaging me again. Deadly Dispute, he sacked him. Okay. Um, we also have a deal running with HelloFresh. Have you ever wanted to try HelloFresh? I know everybody does. It's 100% true that everyone on the face of the earth wants to try HelloFresh at all times.
I'm gonna make a HelloFresh food deck, guys, okay? I'm gonna make a fully sponsored deck that's nothing but food tokens. It's gonna be a historic food deck for HelloFresh. And I'm just gonna repost it every day until people start signing up. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be y'all's punishment. It's gonna be the same, it's gonna be Groundhog Day. Be like, guess what, guys? It's the same food deck again. <laughs> Simic? Simic doesn't have food, my dude. Alright, Goldspan. Do your thing, Goldspan. No, yeah. Um, oh, Soul Shatter. Look at that. He, he was clutching that one. He said, oh my god, the Soul Shatter is here. Uh, let's do that. Reflections, Kiki Jiki. Well, I do have 16 free meals and 3 free desserts. Plus, I will personally give you codes for Magic the Gathering packs. So I don't know where you're going to get a better deal than that. If you want to try HelloFresh. Um, Gold Sand did his thing. He died before combat. Yeah, man. This dude is just sacking and drawing, man. Sack and draw, sack and draw. Draw sack. Draw sacks. He likes to draw sacks. I mean, we all get in that phase where we want to draw sacks, you know? We just draw sacks on everything. But we grow out of it, and this guy clearly hasn't grown out of his draw sack phase. Um, exile, then re... Blah, 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 blah. Let's see if he's got another removal here for another gold span. Um... Let's see if you can go nuclear here. And he's frozen. He's utterly frozen with the appearance of the second Goldsman. Okay, he, he figured out. Uh, he said, okay, I'll let it through. If he's got another Shatter, I'm gonna be real mad. That's the fourth Deadly Dispute, very good. He's gonna search for that Shatter. I don't know why he would do that. Dragon's Fire is going to generate more treasure for me. Um, there we go. Oof. All right. Treasure. Kabango bango bingo. And I will hold on to this flaming Hot Cheeto. Play with fire right here. Um, what are you going to put down, my dude? He does not want gold fan on the board. I'll tell you what, bro. Discards two cards and loses two lives. Well, you get that to the face, homie. If you're going to make me discard cards, I'm just going to play instants on you. That's going to backfire, my dude. Literally backfire. Uh, red mana. Um, I can unexpected windfall that. Sure, yeah, why not? Um, oh, that's right. Well, it's going to get milled anyway. It doesn't really matter. I forgot that I was getting that uh, hit out there. Ooh, Sunrise Phoenix. Sunstreak Phoenix. All these Phoenixes are my sons. Um, I could Shatter Smash it. Um, or I could go in with Den of the Bugbear. Let's hold the Shatter Smash and Den of the Bugbear it, huh? How about that? Not looking good for home team here. Not looking good for home team here. He can swing in with a bugbear, but that's not going to be enough. Um, he can swing in with a bugbear. That is not going to be enough. I have the Shatter Skull Remover for anything small that tries to get in the way. Uh, but I think that there's just too much of an onfalot there. Hey, what's up, Scat Cat? Skittle do bop shoo wop and Mr. Sack is out of there. Thank you so much. I will sit atop my nuclear throne now. How you doing? 80 Bill Burr. Welcome, 80 Bill Burr. Let me see if I got time for one more and then we'll do the shaky breaky. 
We got time for one more. Let me see. I don't know. Yeah, we got time for one more. Let's see if we can do it fast. Man, I've been playing this game for 20 years, my dude. So, you know, it's not enough that uh, it's not enough that I win anymore is I got to put I got to put him in the ground, bro. I got to bury him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Bill Burr? I'm trying to style on people. You know. I'm I'm trying to build a new deck every day and style on people. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Soku Zen to Kumano. Soku Zen to Kamano to Magda. We have Royal Eruption for removal. He's a red player. Okay. Um, oh, there's another Rakdos. Okay. And it comes in with a 1 1 counter. Okay. Mm. Hey, that's great, Skat Cat. Glad to hear it. Oh, play with Fired out there. Okay, not a problem. Always a risk, but whatever. You run the risk. Uh, means that he's got one less card to play against you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, he's going to play that. One damage. Let's put the extra damage on there. Kabango. Okay, we got Royal Eruption ready to go. Ah, yes. Raven gets it. Oh my goodness, Grixis. Oh, it's been many a day since I've seen a Grixis. I really should run a Grixis Dragons again, man. I love Grixis Dragons. I had a Grixis Dragons that was essentially unbeatable for a while. That was probably the best deck. I just stopped playing it. When I was playing in paper, I just stopped playing it because it was just like. Oof, the double invoke. Look at that. Absolutely crushing, bro. The double invoke. Brutal combo there, man. Well, I don't want you doing that again, so we're going to hit you with the double royal there. Ooh, target opponent discards two cards. Okay, so why don't we go with that and that? Yeah, Grix is always up to some crazy shit, bro. Three damage. Very nice. Grix is always on some shit, bro. For real. Grixis control. Grixis used to be a lot bigger, like, two years ago. You ran into a lot of Grixis decks. You saw a lot of them. Okay. Was he going to hit me with uh, Despair again? Galvanic Despair. Royal Eruption. Oh, he's got his own Royal. Okay. He's got his own Royal. Oof. The discard. Play with fire. At sushi, yes, please. Gold span. Oh, he's got his own gold span there. All right. Oh, he might be running the uh, old. Uh, Flamer. He is probably gonna burn it out. Uh, yeah, he's got that. He's got that. So he's gonna hit bang bang, and he's gonna be done. 
Good call. Good hit, man. Very tough Grixis right there. Galvanic to Despair. I wonder what uh, who came up with that, because I'm sure it wasn't this guy. Um, Grixis Galvanic, man. Very cool. Very cool. Tribal Skeleton. Yeah, I love to build Tribal Skeletons, bro. Tribal Skeletons, uh... Oh, that dude was all over me, man. Very, very unique build. Listen, I'm never mad when I get beat by a unique build. I'm never gonna be mad about it. Honest to God. Uh, I haven't seen a fucking Grixis. I, the last time I got beat with a Grixis deck was probably eight months ago, so... Very, very cool interactions there. I like it. It made me want to make a... See, stuff like that makes me want to get in the lab, bro. That makes me want to get in the lab and say, Damn. I got, I got to figure out a Grixis Dragon, bro. I got to get back on the Grixis Dragon grind, man. There's probably some cool interactions I ain't even looking at. Uh, especially with Triple Color coming up, I ain't even mad at that, man. I ain't even going to try to l end the thing on that. Cool stuff from that, dude. Solid stuff. I'm going to end it right there. Mono Red Nuclear. Um, pretty pretty good, man. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, nobody lets me launch the nuke, but I think they see the nuke coming and they surrender. So, hey, we call that Nuclear Deterrent, right? Uh, until next time, the word of the day is fusion. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.